Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, there has been a surge in need for touchless ways to interact. While many organizations have adopted digital forms, in a pandemic world, in-the-moment information about a patient's health needs to be captured when they arrive for their appointment. We're all trying to create the safest possible experience for our patients, customers, and employees. That's why today, Formstack is teaming up with our partner, Gus Melendez of RelayCo, to bring you this touchless patient check-in workflow. Rather than using a pen and paper or a shared tablet to capture information, such as a patient's current temperature or symptoms, this workflow allows patients to simply scan a QR code and use their own device to safely complete the necessary forms. Interested in joining our partner program? Check out the link in the description to learn more. Formstack Forms for Salesforce uses fields on any standard or custom Salesforce object to create a form. The information collected is then used to create or update your Salesforce records. We've added a few COVID-19 specific fields such as patient temperature and recent symptoms to our patient object. To get started on this workflow, we need to add two additional fields to our custom patient object. These will be the URL for our pre-filled form and a field for our QR code. First, we'll get started with our pre-filled form URL. Navigate to Setup and select the Object Manager. Search for your patient object and choose Fields and Relationships. This is where we'll add our URL field. This field will come back into play in a few steps after we've created our form. Select New. Choose the URL field type. Give your field a label. Select Save and New. Next, we'll add the field for our QR code. Select the formula field type, give your field a label, and choose text. In the text box, we're adding this code with our URL field. I've included this line of code in the description, which you can modify for your own workflow. We'll continue by logging into your Salesforce account and navigating to the Formstack Forms for Salesforce app. Select Create New Form, give your form a title, and choose your primary object. Your primary object will determine what fields are on your form. For this example, we're using our custom patient object. Drag and drop the fields you'd like to include on your form. Here we're adding patient name, phone number, temperature, recent symptoms, recent travel, and recent travel location. We're going to update the names of our fields and the title of our form so they make more sense to the patient when they're filling it out. We're also going to add some logic to our form so that the recent travel location field only appears if the patient answers yes to having recently left the state. Select the Edit Rules tab and add two new rules to show or hide the recent travel location field based on the patient's answer. We want our patients to sign off on this information and save the signed file to their Salesforce record. So we'll create a document. To create your document, navigate to the Documents tab and to give your document a name. Here you can add your API key and secret to validate your account if you haven't already. If you already have a document uploaded to your documents account that you'd like to use for this workflow, it will appear in the dropdown. You also have the option to create a new document from scratch, which we'll be doing today. Here you can see we've used the document builder to create a basic document for our patients to sign. We've added our logo and all of the fields we'll be capturing data for. Merge fields are open bracket, dollar sign, field name with no spaces, close bracket. To complete our document, we're going to add our e-signature and date tags where we would like our patient to sign our document. To add your e-signature tag, simply select where you'd like your signature to appear on your document, choose Insert, e-signature tag, form stack sign, and signature. Do the same for your date. Make sure to change the color of your tags to white so your final signatures populate correctly. You're done with your document, Hit Save and Next, and you'll be directed to customize your settings. We've set our output to be a PDF document. Next, we'll add our Salesforce delivery. If you haven't already, Formstack Documents will prompt you to log into your Salesforce account. We're using patient name to match to the record ID. 
You'll need your object name API to complete this process. This can be found on the details page of your Salesforce account under Object Manager. We're saving this file in our Salesforce attachments. To make signing our document as easy as possible for patients, we'll have it sent to them by SMS text message. In order to do this, you'll need to include the patient's contact number on your Salesforce form and document. We don't want to upload this file to our Salesforce instance until the patient has signed it, so we'll select More Options and choose Delay Other Deliveries Until Signing Complete. Now our document's complete and we can head back to our Salesforce form. Hit refresh and select the document you just created. This will bring up a list of your merge fields. Match your fields. Next, we'll make any necessary updates to our form settings, such as changing our submit label or adding a submission message. Hit publish and we'll head on to the final step of our workflow. Select go to publish options. Here, we'll turn on our dynamic prefill and toggle on auto-generate prefill links. And that's it. Now it's time to run a test. Scan your QR code and make sure it takes you to your prefilled form. Complete your form with some test data. And you'll shortly receive a text message to sign your document. Building safe, secure patient registration workflows has never been easier. Get started today with a free trial of the Formstack platform. Subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos come out.